Alright guys, uh, let's keep uh, working on what, what I have been doing, right? I'm, you sit up the homoplata from the Lahiba and then can you gonna counter the homoplata when it's the homoplata and then you're gonna add one more thing, one more attack from that, one more shape from he, he answered to my homoplata right there, right? And I start right here, I'm gonna make my grips first, grab Kenny's lid right here, move in, make sure he cannot grab my legs, right? I wanna step on his hip before I put my back on the ground, as I have the counter right here, I can put my back on the ground right here, right? Next step, next step right here, I wanna keep my leg as a pin right here, move my hip out, my knee go close to his shoulder, and then when I'm able to put the little hip hook right here. Next step, I'm gonna come up to my elbow, make a very good grip, good grip right here, cross collar, and I wanna pre can off bounce to my right side, the same side where I have my grip right there, right? I put off bounce this way here, and then I'm gonna extend his arm, bring his arm right on my pocket right there, bring my knee to my chest, and throw the one plot right here. Then I still have the collar, and I still have his grip right here. All right, now I'm gonna be can turn to do, to, to do the, explain the, the skate. Now, as I get over here, very important detail, I cannot let my right leg close to pop because if you hold my leg, I won't be able to jump, right? So first thing I'm going to do, keep my right leg up, and then I'm going to do the car rail. Now with my left leg, right leg goes first, right and left. Now I'm going to be Fabio to explain the rest. All right, that's a very common reaction, right? Every time you have some right to plata, the car will escape is very common reaction here. I already know what's coming. I know every time you can bring his leg back right there, I know he's, he wants to jump over. And I want to take advantage for the situation here. As I see, as I see he starts to jump, I want to let go my, with the collar, and my leg goes dry on the knee for him. You want to get in the sweep right there, right? And let's take a look at the, the, the situation right there, right? Then, go ahead, Kenneth. As he jumps right there, if I, I let go and come up on my elbow. When I, as I come up my elbow, I'll have to do right here, extend my leg, and sit right here. And just move my hip up, right? Then. As you can hear, I have, I, have, I have a very good control because I still have his, his arm right here. It's going to be hard to can in the scramble. Next step right here, I'm going to block his hip right here, push my arm close to his neck, and now I can let go this, this leaf, bring my knee close to his hip right there, bring my chest over his chest, screw off can right here, and secure the side control over there. Alright guys, now we're going to do exactly the same, right? I'm going to approach with Fabio, get my foot on his hip, get De La Riva, counter sleep and then we're gonna go for the omoplata there and as soon as I get the omoplata Fab is going to counter by doing the car rail and I'm going to re-counter once again let's take a look on the okay so first thing I'm gonna do I cannot let Fab control my pants right so first thing I'm gonna do reach with my hands watch reach with my hands close my elbow slide in as I slide in I'm going to open his arm and step one foot at a time but I don't lean back because if I lean back Fab will be all over with his footwork right so I step first watch back off the floor one two Right now, I'm gonna do a big panel with my left leg. Watch, hip sideways, big panel, nice and deep. De la Riva, come up on my elbow if I need to, hold as deep as I can the collar. Now, I'm going to push Fab and put him off balance, move my hip sideways once again, pull his arm towards my rib, bring my knee towards my chest, step on his back, put the pressure, and then we go. And then we go from a plot over here. Now, it's gonna be Fabio's turn. Alright guys, now, I, I'm in a bad situation here, right, can I have the omoplata? I know, first thing I worry about, I do not drop my knees on the ground. Because every time I drop my knees on the ground, it's going to be easier for Ken to finish the omoplata right there, right then. Also, I, don't, I, I cannot let him control this leg right here, my, the, my, my leg close to him. Because if he had that grip right there, he has a lot of options, right? As I get omoplata right here, I'm going to hide this leg. I'm going to step his leg back right here. And now my weight is going to be on my left arm and my left leg right here, right? I pull him right here. And next step right here, all I have to do here, I'm going to put my weight on my shoulder, a little bit on him right here, and that's going to make it easier to throw my leg over right there. Right? Then look at here. I'm going to go one, two, and as I throw my leg over here, I'm going to do kind of stern right there. Right? I try to go, I wanna, my goal right now, I'm going to go to side control, right? I'm going to wrap his collar, and start with the pressure right here. Now, as Fabio... As Fabio get over here, very important detail, don't let it go in panic. If you let it go here, he's going to stop with the side control, right? So first thing, I'm going to keep this sleeve, right? Keep the sleeve. My right hand, I'm going to reach over here on the pen, right? And one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kick my leg as deep as I can, right? My left leg. Now I'm going to do the reaction here, uh, a push and pull. I'm going to kind of come up on my shoulder, watch, right shoulder, and push Fabio a little bit with my left shoulder. Fabio doesn't like that, he thinks, oh, I'm going to have a sweep. As he has a sweep, I'm going to hip in by using, uh, turn the other way please, Fabio. 
by using my right foot on the mat. I push and spy will come in, watch. Look at the hip in there, watch. Step and hip in. Hip in, hip in, hip in. Keep pushing there with the leg. Now from here, very important. I'm going to let it go the pin grip, right? Isolate the hip and look here. I don't come up straight. I push his arm out, left hand, cross face, over there, and I start sliding my knee, walk back to his head, and then we have nice and tight side control. Now, Fab is going to do exactly the same. He's going to. Right. The first thing I do here, when I start building my frames, right, I'm going to copy his shoulder, bring my front around his neck. These arms are inside right here, even better, but sometimes if he has his arm, if he control my arm, I got, I got a bridge on time, you want to bring my arm inside. As I build my frame over here, next step, I'm going to just shrimp, it creates space, right? Then hips up, hips to the side, I'm going to shrimp, I'm going to replace my hand to his bicep, I have my frame right here, shoulder and biceps, he stepped the outside leg on his thigh, shrimp in, and then put back to my guard. Then now, going to be my turn to do the omoplata. Sit up from the left hip like that. First, I want to set up my open guard. I want to start play open guard, de la hiva, cross collar, and go to omoplata. Can I gonna answer my omoplata by doing the carry escape? And as can I answer my omoplata attack with the carry escape, you're gonna show one more option on the counter for for his for his escape right there. Right, let's take a look right here. That I want to make my groups first. Make sure I grab his zipper here. Can cannot grab my leg because if you grab my legs, he can start doing his full work right there. Then, first, I make sure I make my grips. I want to pull his arm towards me right here, that way, he cannot grab my legs. I'm screaming, and then when I step one foot at a time, I want to make sure I had contact with Ken right here. And that's when I can put my back on the ground. I want to keep my leg as a pin right here, get the angle to put the de la Riva hook right there. As I throw the de la Riva hook right here, I want to come up on my elbow, grab the cross collar, very good grip right here, close to his tag, and now I have his posture as over here. Next step, I'm going to put him off balance to my right side. The same side where I have the collar, right? And I'm going to put him off balance this way here. And that's when we look right here, his arm is outside here. I'm going to put his arm on my pocket and I'm going to throw the omoplata right here, right? As I throw my, the omoplata right here, it's going to be Kenneth's turn right now. Now guys, very important detail over here. I'm not going to let Fabio keep holding. I'm not, I'm not gonna let Fabio keep holding my leg, my right leg, right? I'm gonna set my right leg back and start catching my base here. It's very important. Why? Because I'm gonna use the momentum, right? Then I can, when I feel ready, I'm gonna use the momentum. Post my hand, right, very important, my left hand. Now I'm gonna use the here, my right leg goes first, watch. And now I'm gonna try to, all right. And then when, turn it a second, turn it over. So you wanna smash my leg, try to pass my guard. First thing you wanna do here, as you, you jump over, I look at the collar. As I go the collar, I'm going to move a little bit here, in my left leg here, then I'm going to have kind of the last right here, I'm going to full extend outside right here, go back to the weekend, don't go like that, you see, that's, I'm going to play for his balance right here, I'm going to bring his leg here, and then I'm going to shrink to the side, right, I add a shrimp out right there, right, I still have his arm, you wanna, that's going to be hard to can try, scramble, come up, because I have this control, next step right here, my leg right here, I want to just slide my knee through his hip right there, uh, as it's like my, my knee to his hip, I can I go the cup there, his lift, and then I want to be able to put chest on chest right here, isolate his hip from my arm, cross face, and then you have side control. And now you're doing the, the lasso sweep from the, the corner for the escape.